Hi, now I am going to implement our wallet application using Jamarin, the cross platform, the mobile development. So I just opened the Visual Studio 2017 and click File, then click New, then Project. Here I need to select cross platform. Here you can see mobile app Jamarin.forms. This is cross platform in Android and iOS. And the project name will be Wallet. Wallet. And the path I will give is Udomi. Okay. Here you can give any path, no problem. Click OK. And here I need to select Master Detail this template because this template will give few default code with default view and I want to work on this so I'm selecting this to decrease my work so clicking OK and it will take few times to generate auto generated code here it is okay here is the android wallet wallet.ios and it's time to add few new get packages let's right click this solution and click where is manage new get packages click this one and scrolling down scrolling up click browse and need in bitcoin and to select this one and click this to select all this two project and click install and it will take time to install this n bitcoin package to this wallet project and need to select click this i accept button to install this installation completed and now need new tone soft this package okay select this one and make sure you select both project click install and the installation completed again I need jdxing this package I need to scan the QR code this is barcode scanner jdxing and I need downgraded version because upgraded version has issue this 2.3.2 make sure you selected this one upgraded version will not work upgraded version has issue that's the reason so click install installation completed okay I need to you can see here is my phone already connected to this laptop via USB connection and I already installed the air droid application and I'm going to open so that you can visualize my mobile view so I'm opening a web browser and here in this AirDroid application I can see a IP 192.168.168.0.106 colon 8.8.8.8 hit enter I don't not sure
the phone and computer need to be on the same local network yeah it is already mm. maybe my internet connection has issue no it's fine let's click web dot yardroid dot com here I can see scan QR code okay I'm clicking scan QR code on my mobile and scan completed I don't wanna sign in need to scan this one if yeah right my computer not yeah right web yeah right web scan QR and I'm scanning and click sign in in my mobile now you are able to see my mobile view I believe now I am clicking this screenshot and here you can see my mobile this is my mobile view let's minimize this one yeah here it is so what I did I installed this AirDroid application you can see and AirDroid web I click this one and anyway I am clicking home button and now go to settings yes this one I click settings and scrolling down and I went to about phone and I clicked this model number couple of times if you are first time then you need to click this model number and or build number whatever you need to click couple of times to get this developer option at the bottom then click this one then it will make it on to one like this click allow ok is going down and make sure to find out USB debugging this one you need to select click OK click allow that's it you can see after allowing here you can it change to Samsung phone this is how I connected my phone now I'm clicking run button then it's running in it will run in my mobile device let's see it's taking time because it will build first clicking back button
right click close all documents you can see it's still taking time to build what's going on in my mobile you can see it's still in the same screen actually it will take couple of minutes two three four whatever it's totally depend on your machine from play store I installed this Yardroid application this application I already installed looks like Android application is debugging okay here is our default application you can see here browse about this is Jammerin this is our default this is if I click second item you can see go back clicking add and it can add whatever click save it's already added at the bottom you can see this is our default project that's it for this video